Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Filipino ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Filipino. Hi everybody, my name is Camille. Welcome to the 800 Core Filipino Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Filipino. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at filipinopod101.com. Click the link to the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Filipino. Okay, let's get started. First is... Kumusta? Hello. Kumusta? Kumusta? Hello. Kumusta, Maria? Hello, Maria. Kumusta, Maria? Mawalang galang lang. Excuse me. Mawalang galang lang. Mawalang galang lang. Excuse me. Mawalang galang lang. Nakita nyo ba ang aso ko? Excuse me, have you seen my dog? Mawalang galang lang. Nakita nyo ba ang aso ko? Pasensya na. I'm sorry. Pasensya na. Pa sen sha na. I'm sorry. Pa sen sha na po, hindi na po mauulit. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Pa sen sha na po, hindi na po mauulit. Magandang gabi. Good night. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Good night. Alis na ako. Magandang gabi. I'll go now. Good night. Alis na ako. Magandang gabi. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Ikinagagalak kong Makilala ka, sir. Kumusta ka? How are you? Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? How are you? Uy, kumusta ka? Hey, how are you? Uy, kumusta ka? Oo. Yes. Oo. Oo. Yes. Oo, naiintindihan ko. Yes, I understand. Oo, naiintindihan ko. Hindi. No. 
Hindi. Hindi. No. Hindi. Ayoko nyan. No, I don't like that. Hindi. Ayoko nyan. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat pero hindi ako ang nag-order nito. Thank you but I didn't order this. Salamat pero hindi ako ang nag-order nito. Ako si I'm Ako si Ako si I'm Ako si Erika I'm Erika Ako si Erika Paalam Goodbye Paalam Paalam Goodbye Paalam ingat Goodbye take care Paalam ingat Masama Bad Masama Masama Bad Siya ay lalaking masama. He's a bad boy. Siya ay lalaking masama. Mabuti. Good. Mabuti. Mabuti. Good. Ang gulay ay mabuti para sa iyo. Vegetables are good for you. Ang gulay ay mabuti para sa iyo. Maganda. Pretty. Maganda. Maganda. Pretty. Maganda ang damit mo. Your dress is pretty. Maganda ang damit mo. Pangit. Ugly. Pangit. Pangit. Ugly. Ang pangit na sisiyo na pato ay naging isang magandang gansa. The ugly duckling became a beautiful swan. Ang pangit na sisiyo ng pato ay naging isang magandang gansa. Madali. Easy. Madali. Madali. Easy. Ang pagrenta ng kotse ay hindi laging madali. Renting a car is not always easy. Ang pagrenta ng kotse ay hindi laging Madali. Mahirap. Difficult. Mahirap. Mahirap. Difficult. Ang Ingles ay mahirap. English is difficult. Ang Ingles ay mahirap. Malapit. 
near, malapit, malapit, near. Ako ay nakatira malapit sa universidad. I live near the university. Ako ay nakatira malapit sa universidad. Malayo. Far. Malayo. Malayo. Far. Ang babae ay nakatingin sa isang bagay na malayo. The woman is looking at something far away. Ang babae ay nakatingin sa isang bagay na malayo. Maliit small maliit maliit small ang kotse ay maliit ngunit ito ay talagang malakas the car is small but it's very powerful ang kotse ay maliit ngunit ito ay Talagang malakas. Okay, let's get started. First is Ngayon Today Ngayon Ngayon Today Maaraw ngayon Today is sunny Maaraw ngayon. Kahapon. Yesterday. Kahapon. Kahapon. Yesterday. Ako ay lumiban sa trabaho kahapon. I took a day off yesterday. Ako ay lumiban sa trabaho kahapon. Bukas. Tomorrow. Bukas. Bukas. Tomorrow. Bukas ay magiging maaraw. It will be sunny tomorrow. Bukas ay magiging maaraw. Linggo. Week. Linggo. Linggo. Week. Ako ay nagkaroon ng sipon ng isang linggo at hindi pa rin ako magaling. I've had a cold for one week and I still haven't got better. Ako ay nagkaroon ng sipon ng isang linggo at hindi pa rin ako magaling. Taon Year. Taon. Taon. Year. Mayroong labing dalawang buwan sa isang taon. There are 12 months in a year. Mayroong labing dalawang buwan sa isang taon. Segundo, second, segundo, segundo, second. May natitira pang limamputwalong segundo sa orasan. There are 58 seconds left on the stopwatch. 
may natitira pang limamput walong segundo sa orasan. Minuto Minute Minuto Minuto Minute Isang minuto na lang bago maghating gabi. It's one minute to midnight. Isang minuto na lang bago maghating gabi. Oras Hour Oras Oras Hour Natutulog ako ng walong oras araw-araw. I sleep for eight hours every day. Natutulog ako ng walong oras araw-araw. Orasan Clock Orasan Orasan Clock. Minana ko ang orasan na ito mula sa aking lolo. I inherited this clock from my grandfather. Minana ko ang orasan na ito mula sa aking lolo. Alas. O'clock. Alas. Alas. O'clock. Magkakaroon tayo ng pagpupulong ng alas tres. We will have a meeting at three o'clock. Magkakaroon tayo ng pagpupulong ng alas Tres. Kalendario. Calendar. Kalendario. Kalendario. Calendar. Minarkahan ko ang aming anibersaryo sa kalendario. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Mi narkahan ko ang aming anibersaryo sa kalendaryo. Lunes. Monday. Lunes. Lunes. Monday. Ang linggo ng trabaho ay nagsisimula ng lunes. The work week starts on Monday. Ang linggo ng trabaho ay nagsisimula ng lunes. Martes Tuesday Martes Martes Tuesday Martes sa susunod na linggo Tuesday next week Martes sa susunod na linggo Miyerkules Wednesday Miyerkules Miyerkules Wednesday. Tuwing Miyerkules ng gabi, naglalaro kami ng poker sa aking bahay. Wednesday nights, we play poker at my house. Tuwing Miyerkules ng gabi, naglalaro kami ng poker sa aking bahay. 
Jueves. Thursday. Jueves. Jueves. Thursday. Sa Jueves. On Thursday. Sa Jueves. Viernes. Friday. Viernes. Viernes. Friday. Isulat mo ang mga plano para sa biyernes sa kalendaryo. Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Isulat mo ang mga plano para sa biyernes sa kalendaryo. Sabado. Saturday. Sabado. Sabado. Saturday. Ginagawa ko ang gawaing bahay tuwing Sabado sa loob ng limang oras. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. Ginagawa ko ang gawaing bahay tuwing Sabado sa loob ng limang oras. Linggo Sunday Linggo Linggo Sunday Almusal sa linggo ng umaga. Sunday morning breakfast. Almusal sa linggo ng umaga. Gumawa. Do. Gumawa. Gumawa. Do. Gumawa ka na ngayon ng takdang aralin. Do your homework now. Gumawa ka na ngayon ng takdang aralin. Pumunta. Go. Pumunta. Pumunta. Go. Pumunta tayo sa paaralan. Let's go to school. Pumunta tayo sa paaralan. Okay, let's get started. First is tumawa. Laugh. Tumawa. Tumawa. Laugh. Tumawa ang mag-asawa sa isang biro. The couple laughed at a joke. Tumawa ang mag-asawa sa isang biro. Masarap. Delicious. Masarap. Masarap. Delicious. Mukhang masarap. It looks delicious. Mukhang masarap. Tubig. Water. Tubig. Tubig. Water. Ang lalaki ay umiinom mula sa bote ng tubig. The man is drinking from the water bottle. Ang lalaki ay umiinom mula sa bote ng tubig. Chaa. 
T. Cha a. Cha a. T. Ang cha a ay isang popular na inumin sa buong mundo. Tea is a popular drink throughout the world. Ang cha a ay isang popular na inumin sa buong mundo. Kape. Coffee. Kape. Kape. Coffee. Gusto ko matamis ang kape ko. I like my coffee sweet. Gusto ko matamis ang kape ko. Cerveza. Beer. Cerveza. Cerveza. Beer. Malamig na cerveza. Cold beer. Malamig na cerveza. Wine. 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 Bote ng wine. Bottle of wine. Bote ng wine. Baka. Beef. Baka. Baka. Beef. Ang mga pagpipilian ngayong gabi ay karne ng baka o ng manok. Tonight's choices are beef or chicken. Ang mga pagpipilian ngayong gabi ay karne ng baka o ng manok. Manok. Chicken. Manok. Manok. Chicken. Hindi ko gusto ang balat ng manok. I don't like chicken skin. Hindi ko gusto ang balat ng manok. Baboy. Pork. Baboy. Baboy. Pork. Inihaw na baboy. Pork roast. Inihaw na baboy. Isda. Fish. Isda. Isda. Fish. Kumakain ng maraming isda ang mga hapon. Japanese people eat a lot of fish. Kumakain ng maraming isda ang mga hapon. Tupa. Lamb. Tupa. Tupa. Lamb. Ang karne ng tupa ay napakasarap. Lamb is extremely delicious. Ang karne ng tupa ay napakasarap. Doktor. 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 
Ako ay isang doktor. I am a doctor. Ako ay isang doktor. Police. Police officer. Police. Police. Police officer. Tinatanong ng police ang driver. The police officer is questioning the driver. Tinatanong ng police ang driver. Guro. Teacher. Guro. Guro. Teacher. Guro sa isang silid aralan. Teacher in a classroom. Guro sa isang silid aralan. Empleyado. Employee. Empleyado. Empleyado. Employee. Merong limang daang empleyado ang nagtatrabaho sa kumpanya namin. There are 500 employees working in our company. Merong limang daang empleyado ang nagtatrabaho sa kumpanya namin. Pumunta. Come. Pumunta. Pumunta. Come. Pumunta ng maaga. Come early. Pumunta ng maaga. Makakita. Si. Makakita. Makakita. Si. Makakita ng paglubog ng araw. See a sunset. Makakita ng paglubog ng araw. Gawa. Make. Gawa. Gawa. Make. Gawa tayo ng kastilyong buhangin. Let's make a sand castle. Gawa tayo ng kastilyong buhangin. Gumamit. Use. Gumamit. Gumamit. Use. Huwag kang gumamit nito. Don't use this. Huwag kang gumamit nito. The secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language. But how do you speak more when you're just starting out, when you can't yet create sentences off the top of your head? Here are some tips. Let's jump into part one, how to prepare ahead of time to speak more. So what's the secret to speaking more of your target language? It's something called preparation. And believe it or not, you've likely used it if you've ever had to give a speech or a presentation. So what do we mean by preparation? Imagine that you have to go open a bank account in the language that you're learning. How would you do it? You can go in there, grunt, and use body language, or you can first come up with a list of words and phrases you need to know before you go, like debit card, bank account, I want to open a bank account, and minimum balance. You may want to look up the grammar rules for how to say, I want to. 
Once you know these words and phrases, you translate them into your target language and you go over to the bank to open an account. Or let's say you're meeting a person for the first time. What are some things you'd say to them? Things like, what's your name? My name is, where are you from? I am from, and so on. So you prepare a list of words and phrases, all the things you'd wanna say in that situation. You translate them ahead of time so that you can communicate effectively. That's preparation. And preparation works because most conversations are predictable to a degree. For example, most conversations with friends start with greetings and catching up on how you've been. And if you know the lines for greetings, catching up, and talking about your weekend, then you can easily handle such a conversation. The point is, the more you prepare, the more you learn to speak without needing a teacher. So, how do you prepare? Part two, how to speak more through preparation. Here are some tips. If you're using our learning program, one, take our audio and video lessons. You'll find these in our lesson library and just focus on the conversational lessons. Lessons are just three to 15 minutes in length and in the first minute, you'll hear a practical conversation. For example, meeting someone new, catching up with a friend or ordering at a restaurant. Then our teachers break down and explain every word and grammar rule. So you can learn these lines and conversations ahead of time. Number two, download the audio dialogue track. This gives you just the conversation. So when you finish a lesson, download it for easy review. Then make a playlist out of all of them and play the conversations on repeat. This will make them much easier to remember. Number three, save the lesson notes. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can read the lesson dialogue, the grammar explanations, and cultural insights for every lesson. Download and keep the notes for conversations you think are useful. For example, if you want to talk about the weather and you took a lesson on that, then download the lesson notes for that lesson. Now, if you're looking to prepare ahead of time for specific topics, then do this next one. Number four, use our free PDF conversation cheat sheets. These conversation cheat sheets teach you words and phrases for all kinds of common conversation topics, like weather, hobbies, family, plans, and much more. You can prepare for the most common conversations with these cheat sheets. If you want to access our free conversation cheat sheets, leave a comment down below and we'll give you the link. Number five, look up lesson topics in our lesson library. If you want to open a bank account or eat at a certain restaurant and you don't know how to talk about these topics, find a lesson about it in our lesson library. Number six, if you're a Premium Plus user, simply ask your teacher to point you to lessons for certain topics, or even better, ask them for potential lines, and you can even practice speaking. Just record yourself, send it in, and your teacher will provide you feedback on what to say and how. Number seven, do it the old school way. Sit down, think of a topic you wanna to talk about. Make a list of all the words you think you need, all the phrases you wanna say or may hear in that conversation. Then, translate those words and phrases into your target language. So let's recap. Most conversations are predictable. You can prepare ahead of time by thinking of all the words and lines you'll need for various conversations. And you can prepare with, one, our audio and video lessons, two, conversation tracks, three, lesson notes, four, free PDF cheat sheets, five, by looking up specific topics in the lesson library, six, asking your Premium Plus teacher, and seven, by manually coming up with a list of the words and phrases and translating them. Learning to carry a conversation is vital to mastery of any language. Even beginners can quickly learn conversational language well enough to carry on real conversations with native speakers. Of course, beginners won't be able to carry a conversation the same way they could in their native language. But just knowing a few tips, like which questions to ask to keep a conversation going, are all you need to speak and interact with real native speakers. Before we get to specific suggestions, let's first take a closer look at how having real conversations in your target language is so vital to your mastery of the language. Communicating with other people is the very point of language and conversation comes easily in our native tongue. For beginners or anyone learning a new language, conversations aren't easy at all and even simple greetings can be intimidating and awkward. Nothing kills a conversation faster than long periods of awkward silence, so you need practice and specific strategies to avoid them. When you know what to say to keep a conversation going, communication becomes much easier and you make a better impression on your listener. 
Nothing will help you learn to speak a language faster and truly master the language than having real conversations with native speakers. Conversations quickly expose you to slang, cultural expressions, and vocabulary that force you to absorb and assimilate information faster than any educational setting. And that's a great thing. But how can you possibly have real conversations with real people if you're just starting out? Here are three proven methods that even beginners can quickly use to learn conversational language to make a great impression and avoid awkward silences. First, ask questions to keep a conversation going. For beginners and even more advanced speakers, the key is to ask questions to keep a conversation going. Of course, they can't be just random questions or else you may confuse the listener. But by memorizing a few key questions and the appropriate time to use them, you can easily carry a conversation with minimal vocabulary or experience. And remember, the more conversations you have, the quicker you will learn and master the language. Second, learn core vocabulary terms as quickly as possible. You don't need to memorize thousands of words to learn conversational language. In fact, with just a couple hundred words, you could have a very basic conversation. And by learning maybe 1,000 to 2,000 words, you could carry a conversation with a native speaker about current events, order in restaurants, and even get directions. To help you get started with this, check out our 2,000 common words, also known as our core list. These 2,000 words are all you need to learn to speak fluently and carry a conversation with a native speaker. Third, study video or audio lessons that you can play and replay again and again. If you want to know how to carry on a conversation, then you need exposure to native speakers, and the more, the better. Studying video or audio lessons is ideal because they provide contextualized learning in your native language, and you can play them again and again until you achieve mastery. Our instructors have created more than 2,500 video and audio lessons that you can play over and over. And the best part is, they don't just teach you vocabulary and grammar. They are designed to help you learn to speak and teach you practical everyday topics like shopping, ordering, and more. Although it may seem intimidating for a beginner, the truth is that it's very easy to learn conversational language. Just learn a few core vocabulary terms and which questions to ask to keep a conversation going. Our language learning program has the world's largest online collection of video and audio lessons by real instructors. Plus, tons of advanced tools to help you learn to speak and carry on a conversation quickly. Just a little practice and exposure to real conversations or lessons is all it really takes. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned, but where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots, and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. 
When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. For even more tips on how to start conversations, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want to have access to tons of language lessons, but you don't want to have to buy more textbooks? In this video, you'll learn six ways you can get language lessons for free. This video will cover ways to get our audio and video lessons on a regular basis, so you can work on improving your language skills. You can use these anywhere, anytime. All right, let's take a look at how to get access. First, right on our website. New lessons come out every single week, Mondays, Tuesdays, and video lessons on Fridays. Access them all in the Lessons drop-down menu on the site. Click on Newest Lessons. If you're on the go, you're going to work, driving, or running errands, you can easily learn with your mobile device. And that brings us to our next tip. Second, get lessons on the Innovative Language app. If you're an iPhone, iPad, or Android user, learn on the go with the Innovative Language 101 app. Download it for free. After you download the app, you can keep up with all the latest lessons. There is a newest lessons icon right on the home screen, and it gives you instant access to your free lessons anywhere, anytime. Just look for Innovative Language 101 on the App Store or Google Play. The third way is the Apple TV app. You can learn on the big screen. Turn on your TV and access all of your audio and video lessons. You can learn at home, keep the lessons playing, and immerse yourself all day long with the Innovative Language 101 app. Look for it on the Apple TV App Store. Now, this one is useful for only Apple TV subscribers, but if you're not an Apple TV subscriber, don't worry. The fourth way, get lessons with our iTunes feed. iTunes can download your lessons automatically and have them saved forever. You get every single lesson as it comes out. You'll never miss one. They're saved in your iTunes. Simply search for us on iTunes and subscribe. Fifth is the Daily Dose of Language app. This is for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. With this, you get bite-sized lessons sent to your device every day. Each day, you get a notification that your daily dose of language is here. Doing the lesson takes just a minute. These aren't our full-sized audio and video lessons, but these one-minute lessons will help you build a habit of learning daily. Find the Daily Dose of Language app on the App Store or Google Play. The sixth way is with our brand new Alexa skill. If you own an Amazon Echo, Dot, or Show, or are planning to get one, you'll want the Daily Dose by Innovative Language. Find it in the Amazon Skill Store. With it, you get new audio lessons and vocab lessons every day across all 34 languages. If you're ready to start learning a new language, these six tips can help you get started learning with our language learning program. Just pick which way works best for you and get started learning today. There are so many ways to start learning for free. Just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.